law is just jujitsu. You can sell coffee and jujitsu. You <laughs> Are you we'll come in for some jujitsu in Portuguese? And oh. also jujitsu. You're Portuguese. I'm Portuguese. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. I was gonna guess Italian. So close. They're close. Oh, uh, oh no, Portuguese. Mm. I'm very lazy because they talk very lazy, like and they do jujitsu and they're lazy. You know, I've been to Portugal and they did not sound like you. Portugal, because <laughs> they speak Spanish in Portugal. Portuguese is a different language that they speak in South America. Uh, they speak Portuguese in, like Brazil in Portugal. And stuff. They speak Portuguese. Uh, uh, they speak a lot of fucking languages there. Oh. Why would why? I'm confused. Why you think Portuguese would not be spoken in Portugal? <laughs> 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 they're they're the same word. Portuguese is the official language of Portugal. I guess my Portugal, not my Portugal, my Portuguese is more a Brazilian Portuguese. It's a, it's a dialect thing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I did that because I was just at a um, jiu-jitsu seminar for a long time. Wow. So, And I don't know any Portuguese. I feel like all they, whenever someone speaks Portuguese, all they say is Portuguese and jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. That's so it. that's what uh, those two English words are what you understood. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually really funny because the people teaching in the seminar are not Brazilian or Portuguese. So they, <laughs> they were white people who live in L.A. Um, oh. But, you know, Brazilian uh, okay. jiu-jitsu. I just, you know. You may have lost really me. Cool. You may have lost uh, me. It's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. What okay. kind of coffee do you want? Do I want <laughs> <laughs> just just a plain I think a plain hot coffee would be nice Is that what you're drinking? Yeah Cool Because kind of it's brand? cold here What? We don't have summer Okay It's so hot here Yeah Um. No such thing as summer here So it's like rainy And like 60 degrees But not really rainy It's just yeah. foggy Huh we just this is our it's fog time. Hmm. July well, and August peak fog. Actually, the fog here has a name. His name's Carl. What? Carl the fog. Does everybody call it that? Yeah, he has an Instagram too. Why? <laughs> why Carl? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Can we? Why Google is this? San, yeah, I'm googling. Why is the San Francisco fog named Carl? Well. <clears throat> In the case of the fog, Carl is a reference to the giant in 2003 Tim Burton flick, Big Fish. Carl was the giant in town and everyone was afraid of him because they thought he would kill slash eat them. Turns out he was hungry and lonely. In San Francisco, the giant is the fog. Carl is a constant character in our lives. Some people love how he keeps the city cool. Others hate that we don't get traditional summers. They spot him all over SF, and many people have choice words for his arrival. Everyone knows and sees the fog. Yeah, today's a big Carl day. That's a deep reference. Mm Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, it's a big day for Carl. All big weekend for Carl, honestly. It's very foggy here. How many followers does Carl have? Um, Let's see. On Twitter, he has... 361,000. Damn. I mean, that's not that many if you think about it in terms of how many people live in San Francisco. Yeah, that's really not. I don't follow him. In um, On Instagram, he has 247,000. Yeah, it's more like it. There's a book, too, called Carl the Fog. There's a book? <laughs> like a kid's book? Uh-huh. Wow. It's a big thing. That's interesting. You know, um, Pat, our buddy Pat, mm-hmm. just started like an author Twitter, mm. and he is destroying it on Twitter. Do you know how many followers he has? How many? Seventeen fifty. Wow, good for him. We should follow yeah. him. What's it called? I know. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. You should look figure pa- it look out. Look for Pat Sutphin. Look for Pat Sutphin. Okay. Um, yeah, but I, in pr- like a short amount of time. Like, I feel like it's been a week. Hmm. Yeah, he was doing really well on it. Wow. That's wild. It is pretty wild. Um, anyway, that's bonkers, Carl. Yeah, yeah I'm looking Carl. at the book on Amazon right now because I was thinking, now that we have all these kids in our family, maybe I should buy them Carl the Fog books. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to. By the way, I forgot to mention... I don't know how many episodes ago, but we have, we are well over 2,000 downloads now. We wow. And 50 yeah. episodes. Yeah, we are way past that number, so there's that. That's sweet. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take a minute and check the exact number, but we're def- we've definitely passed it uh, a while ago. Hmm. Um, my coffee. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually have, have two. You have two coffees? Um, yeah, I circled back around to the brandless cold brew. Oh, because um, it's good. The first time I made it, uh, it wasn't that good because I didn't follow the directions. Mm. So I, you know, did too much water, mm. and I don't know, it didn't do the right amount of time. So it wasn't great. This time I did exactly the right amount of water, left it in there. I actually do kind of like to leave it in there a little longer than you're supposed to. Mm. Um. Okay. But it was very good this time. I downed that. Wow. Pretty quickly. Um, but then also, my roommate just bought this French press machine. Oh, love a French so press. He's been, he's been making French presses, and it's pretty good. Pretty good coffee. Though he, he we differ in that he likes when there's a little grounds in your coffee, and I hate that. Ew. It's weird. Yeah, I don't like the grounds, but... He does the... Do, do you chop up your own grounds? Chop own up. Do you, by chop up, do you mean grind? Don't you have a chopper? Do you mean <laughs> grind? Get them to the chopper. Do you mean grind? Um, yeah, but like a Sometimes. coarse grind, not a fine grind. Oh, when I, do a, when I do a pour over, I like to grind my own beans. Mm, you got a grinder too. Mm, I just use a, a, a little Cuisinart chopper. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's less official, less legit, still does the trick. Yeah, sure. Um I'm kind of doubling down on coffee today because I made these things from this recipe book that I have. It's like a a Olympic famous runner chick. She writes I don't know, recipe books. Anyway, um it's these little things they're like dried fruit and nut energy balls and they have coffee in them Ooh! you just like put coffee grounds in it when you make them and so they're really freaking good and i made a bunch of them and i can't stop eating them it's a problem they're really good huh Mm -hmm. and they're good for you i mean i think so it's just like dried fruit and nuts and coffee and some cocoa powder and then some uh coconut flakes sounds good to me it's pretty good man huh so doubling down you know I'm big coffee day so, i'm so hungry right now mm. yeah me too actually but i'm gonna wait until we're done and then go for a walk in the carl and get some food in the carl how how thick is carl carl you thick. see i can see how across s- the street and no further really that thick yeah Carl, come, he wow. runs deep, man. How long is that gonna last? Uh, the next two months. Really, that thick for yeah. two months? Yeah, and then we get two months of summer, September, October, where it's like nice and like warm and sunny, and then it becomes fire season again. You know, I just uh, was on the phone with Pat, and they have wildfires going on right now. He mm. was driving by one actually. That's scary. Yeah, crazy. California is a crazy place. It really is. Um, speaking of crazy, are you? Do you watch Stranger Things? Oh my god! I'm so glad you brought it up. I have such a fun little Stranger I, Things. I'm not done with it yet, so no spoilers. Okay, well, me neither. I've only watched. I mean, like, I'm on the newest season, but I've only watched up to episode five. Oh, me too. Oh, perfect! Look at that. I know it'll be fresh in your mind what I was going to bring out, but what do you have? What about it? 
Well, I was wondering if you think it's correlated that, you know, the new Stranger Things came out and then this whole thing about people petitioning on Facebook that they're going to storm Area 51 happened. Um, no, but what it is correlated with is uh, a couple things. That Bob Lazar documentary that came out. Mm, still haven't watched it. Um, I'm going to be honest, just don't. It's okay. just... <laughs> I tried, and it's really hard to get through. It's not good. Mm. But um, that, the thing Tom DeLonge's doing um, and, and putting stuff out with, uh, and they keep releasing footage of UFOs, mm. um, and the government you know, has been acknowledging Area 51. So, um, yeah, it's, it's mostly the Bob Lazar thing um, that people are talking about. But I'm sure the Stranger Things helps. Yeah. Like, I don't know which is which. I I think Stranger Things is probably doing better because of the Area 51 stuff than the other way around. Hmm. Are you yeah. going to go to the Storm Area 51 raid? I signed up. You did? Yep. Sep- Friday, September 20th? September 20th. At 3 a.m.? I'm going to get shot. Super early. I'm going to get shot. <laughs> Because nobody is getting through. Do they understand that nobody is getting through? Uh, in the headlines, it says they can't stop all of us. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they can. So, <laughs> we will meet up at the Area 51 Alien Center tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. We so can move funny. faster than their bullets. Let's no. see them aliens. <laughs> These people are so dumb. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, there's over 900,000 people going. I, I, I can't wait. So. It's, it's, yeah. Can't wait for nobody to get in there and find out anything. I was Googling it the other day because there's like f- weird pictures posted. And I'm like, are these even like real? Like where these seem like they came from a movie. Probably not. And do people realize that because... Area 51 is so well known. Don't you think they're not doing their most top secret stuff there anymore? Yeah. You would think. Like when you Google Area 51, a lot of pictures of E.T. come up. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Um, my friend Justin made a meme and it's E.T. Um, with a cell phone and says, oh, what's the what's the thing? Um like thought it looked cute might delete later oh yeah it? yeah mm-hmm. um it was et holding the phone and it's um thought it looked cute might might get liberated later maybe, mm. or something like that okay yeah it's, it's funny. funny i like it yep um anyway so stranger things what do you think so far um i think episode five is when it just started to get interesting okay when they uh, got to the Russian facility? Yeah. Before that, I would say generally boring. Seems like we're doing this all again. So <laughs> many love quarrels happening. There's a lot of young love. Yeah. And old love. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's all I got. What do you so, think? So I have a friend that's in Stranger Things. Oh, you do? I do. Who? Um, he, I uh, he lives in Georgia. He's one of the people at a SPG. He helps me in my camps, mm. he, and he's scary as hell. No, he's awesome though. I like him a lot. Uh, his name is George. Um, George from Georgia. George from Georgia. I think technically he's Russian, and I think technically his name is Georgi. Mm. Um, Kaseev. And um, he's in, so he's in a, a bunch of episodes. He's in episode one, all over episode three, and episode five. Um, he is the, he's the Russian guy who is saying the code they decrypted. Mm. Um, that's his voice. Um, oh, so we then, don't see him, but we hear oh, him. Oh, no, you see him. You see him. Which character? Um, you see? see him in episode one. He's one of the Russian soldiers. Um, and then do you remember in episode five? when um the kids got to the russian facility and then steve knocked out one of the russian soldiers yeah the guy who was saying the code that's him oh i just mm-hmm. saw that last night i'm gonna look up yeah. this picture now 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we'll find the picture. So he's but famous. That's, that's him. I'll text you a picture of him with uh, some of the actors. I'm going to find him right now. Actually, I shared it on my Facebook, too. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, he got a, like a pretty decent long fight scene, too, which was fun. He got killed, though, man. Steve got him. He got him, which is so funny because George is a scary dude. <laughs> he will mess you up. <laughs> George. I think I found him. Did you? Yep. So his last name start with a K? Yep. Kase. Kasev. He's old. Well, not really. He looks old. It's like 40 maybe? Less than that? 30 something? All right, so he's your old guy friend. <laughs> I guess. I met him through Liam. Oh. Well, that's cool. Is this his big break? What else has he been in? No, he's been in a bunch of things before. He's been doing the acting thing on and off. Um, hmm. I guess, that, you know. I see him. I he's, he's, got yeah. some, he's got an IMDB page. Yeah, he's got some stuff going on. That's cool. That's cool he's also a, a realtor. Or he runs a real estate business. Hmm. Uh, Georgi, yeah. Georgi, 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 Georgi. He yep. was in Georgi MacGyver. Kassel. Yeah. And Chakra Vu. I don't know that one. I'm not sure what that one is either. Came out in 2017. He also, I don't know if he's in or had a, an audition for that superhero show called Black Lightning. Mm. Unfamiliar. Don't remember. Um, he was also in. Um, Oh, man. What was it called? It was, I think it was a show about the Revolutionary War. Um, yeah, he's he's done a bunch of stuff. Hmm. He's very, very interesting. He grew up in the circus, or like a traveling circus. Wow. He used to ride horses for. Yeah. Um, he's fluent in like Spanish, Russian, English, maybe German too. I think there's another one in there. Those are all very different uh, languages. Yeah. He's got, like, a master's degree in psychology or something. Um, hmm. And, yeah, yeah, he's very, very interesting. Yeah. Sounds like it. Well, good for yeah. him. I hope yeah. uh, Well, I hope he comes back from, you know, Steve punching him in the face. Me too. Hope he stays in it. Yeah. Or I hope it just leads to, you know, he got three episodes in this show. Maybe he'll get a... A bigger role in something else. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So I'm yeah. having this, um, this like, dilemma today. Yeah? Where it's, like, a Sunday that I have things I could do. I have nothing that I need to do. But I don't feel yeah. like doing anything. But so I'm just not, don't do them. But I'm not a person that can just do nothing with a whole day. But I don't really want to do something. Are they fun things or like productive things? Productive things. I don't have any plans today. That's my other problem. I don't have fun things going on. I don't have unfun things going on. There's things I could do. Like, obviously, I could like call a friend and be like, yo, you want to do this? But I could also do some work. But here's the problem. I don't feel like doing any of those things. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what do you feel like doing? That's the thing. Nothing. I want to do nothing today. Why don't you just get some food and finish Stranger Things? Yeah. But doesn't that feel like a whole waste of a day? I'm not nah. a person that can do that. That feels sometimes, wasteful. Sometimes you just need a break. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm having a, like an internal dilemma about it. Why don't it. you just like, what's your work? Your work's on the computer, right? Yeah. Why don't you do both? Stranger Things and work. That's true. Then I could feel like I'm doing something while not really doing anything. Yeah, and then if you get nothing done, at least it feels like you tried to get something done. That's true. I already did a load of laundry today, so... There you go. I'm doing that right now, too. Wow. That's exciting. Yeah. I'm Googling now about wasting a day, and there's an article that said why you should stop freaking out about wasting your time. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Spending time one day at a time. But wastes aren't always wastes. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, this article seems to think I should do nothing today as well. Yeah, I think that's a general consensus. Hmm. I'm going to try. I'm going to try as hard as I can to do nothing. 
after okay. I get some food. And after I did we something record this. Really fun on Friday. What'd you do? I went to um hey I don't know if it's technically um I guess it's a music festival. Ooh. Kind of. It's called the Disrupt Festival. But the um Disrupt I went festival. to go see a bunch of bands for the first time in a while. Yeah, look up the lineup. It's it was crazy actually. Where was this? This was it was at Tinley Park. Okay. Um they had you can look up the lineup probably, but they had the used, the used, thrice, um, some forty one, a tray you, a tray you, with sirens, four years strong, strong. Wow. yeah, um, yeah, they had a ton of people there, and I had was really it good crowded? seats. Crowded? It was not. It was so empty, wow. which was crazy. Who'd yeah. you go with? A uh, person from Jujitsu. Oh, a person. A person. Okay. Well, it looks pretty fun. Did you get any merch? Love a good concert tee. No, no not about to spend These money are pretty on ugly, that. so I'm glad you did. Are they bad? <laughs> They're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, <laughs> stick figures that... I need a closer look up of this. Stick figures on a shirt, but the heads are skulls. Whose whose shirt is that? It's it's just a, a shirt for the festival. Oh, it's like a disrupt shirt. Yeah, with like the lineup uh, on the back and stuff. So it's like yeah, oh, I would never like little skeletons. Oh, you know what it is? Now that uh, I found a zoomed in picture, they look like they're all at a table, like the Last Supper. You know, like all on uh, one side. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then there's like a Jesus looking dude in the middle that just kind of looks like you in high school like the emo haircut and like a hoodie and stuff and then he's eating a heart looks like there's a heart on his plate and then they all have rockstar cans in front of them so Uh, it's like the last sponsored by rockstar yeah yeah i would not buy like a festival shirt if anything i would buy like a band's merch probably yeah yeah this is a bad festival shirt so i'm I'm glad you didn't Hmm. well this looks fun it was a lot of fun. Hmm. Um, that, yeah, they were. I I miss going to those things. We had really good seats and they were really cheap. They were like thirty bucks, like Damn. dead center, real up close. Um, Did you meet any of the bands? No, because um, they have meet and greet tickets you could buy. Yeah, I bet they're not even that bad. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what was expensive. Um, Beverages. Yep. I bet. <laughs> Two beers, twenty-seven dollars. Oh, yeah, that sounds wild. That's insane, right? Yeah. Doesn't even matter what beer you get. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Uh, are you gonna follow it and go again? Oh, it's today. I was gonna say, oh, are you gonna follow it not. to Noblesville, Indiana? Guess not. But hmm. um, I'm gonna go to uh, Riot Fest. Oh. In September, with the same person that uh, the kid's mom that I was talking to you about, yeah, um, uh, who likes the same music, yeah, that's who I went with, and oh. we're gonna go to Riot Fest. Yep, that's fun. Yeah, no. yeah, it was a really good time. I haven't been to a show in a long time, but I forgot how fun it was. Did you just like revert back to your high school emo days? Oh, totally. I brought out Who some pretty tight jeans. Yeah. Um, put a white belt on. Did you uh, hit up that moth sh- pit? Uh, no, we were in seats. We weren't in the on the floor. Do they still mosh pit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a frightening thing. I totally would have got in there if we were down there, I'm sure. When do you think that started? Early 80s. Wow. In the California. Who would have thought? Yeah. Huh. That's an interesting fact. Mm-hmm. Very recent. 1980s. Yep. It was a uh, hardcore punk scenes of California and Washington, D.C. Yeah. I like that they still try to call it a style of dance. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Participants I- push or slam into each other, typically performed in aggressive live music. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if you were like an alien observing that? <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck are like, those people doing? Are they fighting? 
for like it is hardcore intended dancing to be energetic and full of body contact yeah wow. totally do you remember <sighs> hardcore dancing yeah that was a trip hardcore dancing <laughs> i just google this the two-step yeah god it's so weird oh yeah when you <laughs> google hardcore dancing uh, a video on YouTube comes up it's Hardcore dancing at Warp Tour <laughs> Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh there's a wiki page How to hardcore dance in six Ooh. steps okay. Oh that's it huh One wait for the pit to break open Two okay. Listen to the music And go with the flow Sure. Three two stepping During fast paced breakdowns Is a good idea <laughs> Nice <laughs> Four Throw down when the music gets heavier and starts to sound very bu- brutal. Swing your arms around with a closed fist back and forth in front of your body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, step f- step five. Throw in some spin kicks if there's room. <laughs> or maybe yeah. try something that is unique. <laughs> step six. If the song seems to stop abruptly, but the band still looks ready to go, then you're in for a breakdown any second. Wow. <laughs> that was a wild article. That was wild. <laughs> the saddest thing is that someone took some time to write that. To write that out. And include images so I understand oh, what it looks like. And wow. And let me tell you another sad thing about this. The most recent update to this article was June 6th, 2019. Really? Which seems too recent. Somebody's making sure seems people know how to hardcore dance. Way too recent for that. So. Do you remember the A Day to Remember um, Plot to Bomb the Panhandle music video? No, I don't it's at all. They teach a bunch of people how to hardcore dance. Mm. It's pretty funny. They do the like, I think they do like the... Picking up the quarters off the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I miss that stuff. It's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Ron Jeremy's in that music video. They got some other p- weird people in there. Wow. Too funny. Hardcore dancing. Okay. Hardcore dancing. That's hilarious. But, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Well, it sounds like it. it sounds like a yeah, good old used- time. The U's have been a band for 20 years now. Yeah, how old they look? Not, like, terribly old. I'm looking them up. I, think I the guess last they probably they started when they were young. Young, right? probably real young, yeah. Some of these, like, then and now pictures. Can't tell which one they look better in. Huh. Um, the hair is definitely different. They all have yeah. way more adult hair. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Hilarious. Wow. Throwback. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Was um, well, last night, my roommate and I went to this, like, kind of bougie dinner for no reason. Like, there's this restaurant that's really hard to get reservations at, so I have the Resi app set to notify me if reservations open between 5 p.m. and midnight on any Mm -hmm. weekend and I got a notification that one opened at 5 30 yesterday so we went and it's kind of a bougie meal it's like there's a lot of courses a lot of tastings whatever and then we went to this bar after that's across the street um that was really cool it's like a cocktail bar and They have, like, different menus that have different themes to it. Um, I don't know. It was my first time there, so I don't know that much about how much the menus change and stuff. But this one was um, all about... I'm trying to look up what it's called. I don't know. It was kind of, like, alien-themed, which was kind of funny. Oh, Really? Yeah, and the the there's it's a whole book and every page has like a poem or a quote or a story and I don't know. And then what's in the drink and it's funny. It's very cool. Huh. Seems like a, a fun menu to make. Yeah. Mhm. Um what do we eat? Yep. 
We had, well, at the restaurant, it was it's an Italian restaurant, so we did the pasta tasting. So okay. we just had, like, five different pasta dishes. Five like, different? Just well, you like and one s- other person? Yeah, like, small. It oh. was, like, you got, like, five bites of each pasta. Okay. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Um. Ooh, there was this one that actually... When the guy brought it to the table, I almost wanted to laugh at him. But, like, you know, like, they explain it. They're like, this is what's in it, and this is, like, whatever. He kept saying flower power, like, about <laughs> explaining the dish. And there were, like, flowers on the plate. I don't know. But it was good. It was, like, a saffron and cheese-stuffed pasta. Okay. I don't know. It was good, but he kept saying flower power, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> What I took away from it was I think there was about a stick of butter in everything we ate, and it was fantastic. Huh. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it was great. Wow. Uh Uh-huh. So then, we're at this bougie cocktail bar. We're getting, like, fun, drinks, whatever, and then there's these two dudes at the end of the bar next to us that are standing there drinking beers. And they were like, hey, what are you guys drinking? And we start talking to them, and... I was like, why'd you guys come to, like, a bougie cocktail bar and order beers? And they were like, yeah, we don't know. We're, we don't know what we're doing. We need some help. <laughs> 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 it was really funny. Did you guys but, hang out the rest of the night? Yeah, we did. They bought us our next round. It was super nice. fun. And then the one guy was like, how do you guys feel about a house party? And I was like, we're trying to go home and watch another episode of Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, oh, but my buddies, they're in grad school at Stanford, and they're having this house party. You want to come? And we were like, nope. Nope, we did Aww. not. Nope. They were nope. fun, but they weren't that fun. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was fun, but not that fun, yeah. <laughs> really so. cute? Mm, no. Ah, uh, bummer. Yeah. <laughs> they were really short. That's the thing about it in San Francisco. Oh, come on. <laughs> Everyone's really short, which is okay with me. But my short. room, yeah, my roommate is very tall, so. How tall is your roommate? I think she's like 5'10". Yeah, it's pretty tall. Yeah. So. Dang. It sucks for short guys. I know. For so some reason, everybody thinks I'm a lot taller than I am. You're not that tall. I'm not. I I'm am. not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I'm not. I'm pretty short, but I just was talking to this one girl who thought I was 5'11". Wow! I was, I was like, wild. yeah, I would never, would never what think I that. Yeah, people always say like five ten, five nine. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, it's very weird. Hmm. There's a lot of there's a lot of great guys below chin level though. So give them. Yeah, a chance. for sure, for sure. Below chin level, huh? Okay. Because cause they're short. <laughs> uh-huh. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what else is going on? Man, I've been doing this uh, women's self defense thing. Oh. Uh, class. Yeah. I'm teaching it twice a week now. Um, at night, one hour class. It's going really well. There's first time, they absolutely loved it and doubled the amount of people the second time. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's a ton of people going. They're a pretty good group. They love beating the heck out of each other. Um, it's really. So, what are you teaching them? Like, uh, we do a s- we split the class. It's one hour. We do uh s- like a psychological portion or like a I don't really know what to call it. Like a education. It's all educational, but like a academic portion. I don't know things like um. How victims are chosen, who are the most likely predators, mm, like, okay. you know, what stuff about intuition, like, you know, I don't know. The, yeah, the yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, that's kind of stuff. And then we do, um, like, physical self-defense techniques, too. Um, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. It's like a really fun way to make a pretty decent amount of money. Hmm. Can um, I come? Yeah. Cool. I, w- I would love to start doing it more often. Yeah. Um, When's the next one? Do them every Tuesday and Thursday. 
Cool. When are you coming in? The 26th. You might be able to catch one. I think I'll I'm come done. on the 30th. I think I'm done August 1st. It's the last one for this group. Great. So. I can come the 30th and the 1st. Perfect. Except for if anyone punches me in the face, I'm going to kill him because no. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting LASIK on the 31st. Ooh, that's fun. So if they hurt my eyes before or after, I'm going to be angry. Um, Yeah, there's a... Well, you got some... Big, big uh, plans coming in. I hope you're ready. You mm-hmm. got that? You got... Um, aren't you going to a Cubs game? I'm going to a Cubs game. Yes. You, I'm going yeah. to a wedding. Um, oh, you're going to... A, whose wedding? Caitlin. Caitlin who? What, like I just disclosed my friend's full name. So yeah, I guess you don't have podcast. to. I just didn't I'm know you were going to a wedding. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then Pat will be in town. Yeah. And he wants to hang out. So... When's, when's the wedding? The 27th. Okay. He uh, He's going camping like that weekend. Mm. Um, School, I'm busy that weekend. Well, yeah. Got okay. a wedding. He wanted like yeah. the 28th people to come up and like, you know, grill out and stuff. Come up to where? Well, they'll be in Wisconsin. Oh. Camping. Hmm. Um, so a lot of people are going up just for that day and not st- camping over. Mm. Um so maybe that, or you could just see him when he's back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You could do that. Yeah. He'll be bringing Jude, so. Pumped. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Self-defense classes are really, really cool. It's, uh, if I could get, like, it's only one hour a night. If I could do one every single day of the week, it's just, I could, like, only do that for work. Hmm. So enough money. Yeah. Why don't you start your own? we we'll start my own what? Self-defense studio. Uh, I would. I mean, I wouldn't do that. It's all under the SBG banner, and Paul mm. created it all. Mm. Um, and so you don't want to steal somebody, his credit. You know. Yeah, but like he, he, I feel really bad. I'm gonna give him money, but he hasn't. He told me not to give him any money. <laughs> he told me just to take it all for myself. Mm. Um, but I don't know if I could do that. I'll probably give him some money. Yeah, but it's a solid amount. <laughs> I'm yeah. googling self defense classes for women in San Francisco. Oh, didn't didn't you say you were gonna go do a free one or something? Yeah, I never went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I feel like I'm more. I'm more inclined to go if I pay for it. Probably. <laughs> this place, Krav Maga Institute. Nah. <laughs> Wow. Krav Maga. Krav Maga. Do you know Krav Maga? Do I know it or do I know about it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it a person? Is it a... <laughs> it's a... No, it's a martial <laughs> art. <laughs> oh, you know. I thought it was a person. No. It's like an Israeli martial art or something. Mm, lame. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Sunset Jiu-Jitsu. I can go there. There you go. Maga yeah, Lit. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Well, there's a lot of places. Yeah, do a jiu-jitsu one. Okay. Okay. Cool. Will do. Put it on the list. Right on. Okay. Right on. Um, Trying to think what else is going on. I got nothing. Most of my week has been alien-related. Nice. Between Stranger Things and all of my research in this Area 51 raid, I just find it hysterical. Yeah. Can't wait to see how that pans out. We're back to um, Mercury being in retrograde, though. Yeah, we did talk about that once, right? Yeah, it's back. I'm not a, not a believer. I don't even know what that means. I think I defined it for you in time. Yeah, you did. It's just an optical illusion, though. Things are It makes to it look crazy. like the planet's moving backwards from our viewpoint on Earth, but it's not, actually. Okay. So... It happens it. three to four times a year. Apparently, it's now. Three to four times a year? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not impressed. Yeah. Actually, I have a question to propose to you. Okay. Are you f- familiar with the Fuck, Mary Kill game? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Here's my Fuck, Mary Kill for you. Okay. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. 
Oh, easy. Um, oh, not so easy. Hold on. There is a right answer. There's a right answer? There's an answer that is All so right. terribly I, wrong. I kill lunch. Mm-hmm. I... Marry dinner and fuck breakfast? That's the right answer, correct. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> it's the only answer I think. My biggest problem is in the last couple of weeks I have talked to so many people that are marrying lunch that Why? I just can't even I can't even wrap my mind around it. That's I don't know. Not it's incorrect. It's totally incorrect. Like I'm sorry. Who is just out there marrying like steel bread and cold cut sandwiches? Like, no, <laughs> that's like not acceptable. Nobody even eats lunch. And I'm sorry, but if you love lunch, that means you like your job, which means you're not normal. Like you, you <laughs> eat lunch with people you work with for the most part. Yeah. And if you're doing that, you're getting exactly that sub sandwiches. Like, what are you maybe Chinese food? Yeah, I mean, my work is unique in not yet all unique, um, but in San Francisco, a lot of places like cater luncheon. So my lunch comes from like restaurants every single day and it's different. Oh. It's like Thai or Mexican or Italian or whatever. That's kind of nice. And I still hate it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I do not want the buffet version of a restaurant and to eat it with my coworkers and want to marry that. No. No. It's just not okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's nothing sexy about lunch. And breakfast is the best food ever, so. Best food ever. I would eat that. That's why it was hard for me, because I would eat breakfast for dinner. Yeah, so, same. If I yeah. could just, if I could just both fuck and marry breakfast, that would be ideal. I think you can, but I think that's what you get out of marrying dinner. Because we're talking more about like true, that. you get to do both. Yeah, it's less about the type of food, I guess. That's true. It's time of day, right? Kind of though, but also not. It's like a little bit of an in between on both. Yeah. Because you make an assumption on what's a breakfast, lunch, dinner type food, but you also That's make true. an assumption on the time of day. So people's perspective on that could cause them to like one versus the other. But regardless, if you marry lunch, you're probably a sociopath. Yeah, you really have to define those boundaries there. Mm-hmm. Huh. I mean, if we're going to do j- strictly time of day, not food, or type of food, then I'm going to kill... Oh, that's way harder. I'm still going to marry dinner. Nah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I, I still know. kill lunch if it's strictly Do time you? of day because breakfast is so much more versatile. You can have brunch, like that's that's different. Brunch is different if we're going strictly time of day, not type of food. Yeah, Do you but like eating in the morning, the middle of the day, or in the evening? Morning, morning and evening. I don't like See, eating I, in the I middle don't of the eat, day. I don't eat until two p.m. every day usually. I actually, well, I don't eat like meals. I have like a little like coffee and like piece of fruit okay but just because i don't eat breakfast doesn't mean i don't like breakfast right and i like the morning time of day i do like the morning time of day so i don't know i don't know okay i mean that's fair i'm just saying people that marry lunch have something seriously wrong with them that's my concern. Mm. All right. What are you going to get for mm. uh, for your food after this? Um, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go look in the fridge. I'm not going to order anything. I don't have time. I have so much to do, but I have no idea. Are you ordering something? No, I think I'm going to walk. There's this like food truck thing that happens every Sunday near my house. Nice. And there's this one. It's called Momo Noodle. Momo and, Noodle? Mm-hmm. And they have these, like, it's like Szechuan food. So it's like a spicy noodle with some, like, pork okay. and stuff. Not what I thought. I thought it was going to be pasta. No, it's like, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. It's yeah, like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like Asian You're noodles. You're wrong. Like Asian noodles. 
I don't like Asian noodles. Oh, I love Asian noodles. I much prefer rice. Mm. I like rice too, but they have a couple options though. They have the Momo spicy noodle, the Popo's noodle, the hot and sour rice noodle, and the spicy chicken noodle. Huh. Mm-hmm. Do you like white or fried rice better? Mm. Or brown? I mean, like, if I'm thinking healthy, then maybe brown rice. But in general, I want some fried rice. Some fried rice? Yeah. I don't know. It depends on my mood, I think. Mm. So, there's something something real good about just some plain-ass white rice. Yeah, I feel ya. I mean, if it's got something to go with it that's going to, like, make it not so dry and then have some flavor, then I'm down with that. You know, put some meat, put some veggies on top of it. Then the white rice is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Ready, you ready to sign off? <laughs> yeah, because I kind of need to use the restroom. Okay. Can you cut that out? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay. Well, um, thanks for uh, hanging with us today. Um, you guys can tweet us at the underscore pod cafe or email us at podcafe.contact at gmail.com. And you can listen to us on Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Libsyn, iTunes, all the places where you listen to your podcasts. And shameless plug for Abby Potts. You should vote for Uh, her. Still voting. Still voting. Yep. Because we're doing this thing where she's trying to do this health and fitness thing. And we're just out here voting for her. So vote. I tweeted oh. the link multiple times. Cool. I'll tweet it again. Yeah, do it. Vote. Cool, cool.